What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about how you can approach a solo section in this world of the Grateful Dead music, right? How can we write our own solo and not play a solo that's already been played, right? So with that being said, we're going to look at Box of Rain, the solo section. We're going to analyze the chords that happen beneath the soloing, look at triads, how we can write the solo by just using the root, then incorporating the root and the third. And by doing so, we can either approach the chord by the root or spell out the chord fully, right, by using the third, fifth, or the root, as well as some chromatics. So with that being said, let's check out Box of Rain and how to approach the solo section. Well, all right. So like today's video title says, today's video is all about how can we approach writing our own solo, right? What steps can we take to have the confidence to when we pull up any Grateful Dead song, we look at the chord progression, how can we write our own solo? Right. In today's case, we're looking at Box of Rain. So the steps we're going to take are, first off, we're going to play the chord progression as if we were the rhythm guitar player, right? Using triads on strings two, three, four. Then we'll play the chords again, but in the register that our solo would be taking place, right? And finally, we'll look at what notes can we approach to outline these chord changes? So if our solo were isolated, we could still hear the chord changes happening and the movement of the song happening. So let's go. All right, so now let's look at these chord progression triads on strings two, three, four, right? Chords being G major, A minor, E minor, C major, A major, D, G, A minor, E minor, C, D, E minor, A, sus, back to a D major to indicate verse 3. So looking at the chords, they're pretty much all in the key of G major, right? G could be our one chord. A minor can be our two chord. E minor can be our six chord. C can be our four chord. A minor, we could say is like two major or five of five, right? The fifth chord of D. D is our five chord, obviously. And then back to one, two, six minor, four, five, six minor, A, and then suspend it again, right? So one step further, note-wise, they're all in the key of G, right? But something happens when we indicate this A major. When we hit this A major, we're now playing a C sharp, which is not in this key, right? Pretty interesting. And that resolves to the D major really nicely, right? So that's step one. How would we play the chord changes as if we were with the guitar?
Now let's again play these exact same chords using triads on strings two, three, four. But now let's move it up to around the 12th fret area. And I wanna zoom in now on my camera. Cool. All zoomed in, as you can see, on about the 12th fret of the guitar. So like mentioned before, we'll play these exact same chord changes just now in the upper register. Again, triads on strings two, three, four. on that D chord, which is the first chord of the third verse. So that will be the second step in this whole thing, right? Play the chords, in this case, Box of Rain, in the register where you would solo. Then we could say, how do we want to start writing our own solo, right? Well, first we can approach just the root of the chords, right? By approaching just the root, you have the minimum, but that still allows you to add more notes afterwards. I think personally, it's easier to add notes to a solo than it is learning a solo with the most notes possible and then trying to take notes out to make it more breathable or more understandable if that is the correct analogy. Not really sure there. <laughs> So now let's take our same idea by approaching the root, and now we'll incorporate the third degree of the chord. Something like that. You can get more busy over this A and A sus, like. Really, at that point, it's freestyle. <laughs> but you can see by adding the third degree as, le as well as the root, you're saying much more and you have the ability to spell out more of the full chord, right? So for example, when I approach this A minor, you can do it chromatically G, G sharp, A, and then I spell out an E minor triad literally. Right? Five, six, five, third root. For the C, I do basically C major triad, G, A, C. For that A, I hit that C sharp, the third degree, and then go chromatic up to D, where I can do whatever D major thing I want to do. Approach the G by like that, or approach the G. It's 
spell out a triad. G, I'm bending out to the third degree. Root of A minor. Flat three of E minor. To root of E minor. I spell out a C major triad. Right? G, E, C. I can go chromatic if I want to D. Right? To E minor. G, F sharp, E minor. Hit the C sharp. And hit the root of A and then do. A bit of freestyle movement on that A and A size. Right, whatever you want. You can do something like uh really the balls in your chord for that freestyle section. But you can see how starting off with just the root, one note for each chord, adding in the third with the root, and then you can start spelling out these chords. You begin with something, something very small, and then make a full solo that tells a story and that fits the vibe of the song perfectly, right? You're not playing a solo that isn't meant to be in the song, right? The ultimate goal is basically if you're in Grateful Dead and they played Box of Rain and they point to you to solo, you'll know what you can do and make the solo part of the story slash song, right? So again, something like... No, there by accident. That's why it didn't add up, right? <laughs> so I hope this video was a nice instructional way and a nice guiding light in the sense that what steps you can take when you want to write your own solo, right? Transcribing is great, and that gives you the tools to learn more about what you can do with soloing, right? But when you're on stage, they want you to play your solo not a transcribed solo from somebody else, right? And these are the steps that I found personally that sharing with you today that helped me and hopefully can help you develop and get the confidence to sit down, learn a song, and write your own solo for the song.